What's going on YouTube? In Theory Reviews here, and um, yesterday I visited the Disney Soda Fountain store for the first time, and it was for the Monsters University release of their new pins. I got a few I'd like to show you guys today. Uh, here's just a paper of what they released in June 2013. These four already came out. Uh, this was yesterday, Friday, June 21st. They had the El Capitan marquee pin. 500 of those. Mike and Sully OK pin, 300 of those. The P and K sorority pin, 300 of those. And the Mike Wazowski 300. And they also had um, two surprise release pins. And these are um, next Saturday's pins. And so how they did it this year was um, basically a lottery to where they didn't want anyone camping out. So they just had everyone line up. They said to come around 7, and at 7.30 they would pass out wristbands and wristbands and random numbers, depending upon how many people lined up. So we had 299 people line up, and they, up to 250 were guaranteed at least a marquee, or two marquees, because it's two per person. And if you got number 1 through 150, you were guaranteed the whole set. So I got 124, so it was pretty cool. And it didn't matter what time you showed up or how long you were sitting there. Everyone is just, everyone had the same opportunity to draw the number. So I liked how it worked out. Some people didn't like it. They were there like for hours, but they basically wanted to give everyone a fair chance if you had to work or whatever. So I liked how it worked out. Get that out of the way. Uh, so first I picked up two of the marquee pins. That's actually the only reason I went. These are the only two pins I really wanted just from the images. I didn't know they were this big. Quick look at how those look. At the top, they have all the the four sororities from the film, which I haven't seen yet. El Capitan, Hollywood, Mike and Sully over here. Uh, Disney, Pixar, Monster University, and limited edition. And these were um these were five hundred two per person. So if you drew one through two fifty, you were guaranteed at least two of these. And there's only 49 people who didn't get a number, but they still were able to get one of the surprise release pins because those were 300 each. And it was one per person on those. So. The only other Monsters University pin I picked up off of this set was the mic. And I didn't intend on getting them. It's just when I, they showed us the actual pin, it was really nice. See, from the picture, they just looked really small, and I wasn't really interested in any of them but the marquee. But in person, this one is really nice. And it's like a 3D effect. His eye sits above the rest of the pin. Disney Sony found the store. Uh, nothing in the back. But you see it's a big pin. It has the two backs. To me, these two, they look too much like the, the rack pins that came out that they have at the Disney store and everywhere else. Just the regular sorority pins. So I really wasn't interested in those two. Just my personal preference. And um, for the surprise release, they came out with this one. It's the Monsters University logo. Really nice pin too. As you can see it sits above. And they also released a, a Roger Rabbit 25th anniversary pin. I didn't really care for it too much because it, it just looked like a sticker. It had basically Jessica Rabbit, Jessica Rabbit sitting above the pin. And the rest of the pin just looked like a basic sticker. So I, I really didn't care for it. A lot of people liked it. I just, me personally, I didn't care for it. And I didn't have a lot of money to just buy pins I didn't want or be a hoarder and buy a lot of pins and sell them on eBay. Rather let the people who really wanted those pins to get them. These two, I got these two just out of instinct and I'll probably end up trading one of them. I'm leaning more towards keeping the mic and trading the the surprise release pin. But yeah, really looking for one of those Iron Man 3 pins. I wasn't able to get out to that event and I heard they released those the night before and they just went really fast. And they're like a hundred bucks on eBay, so I probably won't be getting one unless someone trades me. So, uh, for a size comparison, here's some of the recent Disneyland pins. If you guys picked up any of these, uh, Memorial Day, Fourth of July, and Father's Day. So Father's Day pin is actually a really big pin. You can see how small it is compared to the marquee. Just an example of how large this pin is. And this one is three thousand. 
The 4th of July is 3,000 and the Memorial Day is 1,500. So you can see these are really good sized pins. They're all pretty much bigger than my Disneyland Resort limited editions that came out this year. Well, the three that I decided to pick up. So yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a quick video look at these in case you're looking to trade someone for them or you're looking on eBay and want to buy one. A video might be a little clearer than a, um, <clears throat> excuse me, video might be a little clearer than um, just an image. So yeah, I've seen a couple of these for trade on Pinpix already. A couple on eBay for inflated prices, but yeah. Just want to give you guys a look at what I picked up. I would have posted this yesterday, but I had a wedding to go to. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Um, good luck hunting these guys down. Please like, rate, and subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos. Thanks, guys.